While freedom might be the right of all sentient beings, being awesome is the right of first edition Optimus Prime. Would you believe that of all of the Transformers Prime things that I've appreciated and looked at over the years, I've never looked at, never owned until now, thanks to our buddy Razor Bear, any version of the Transformers Prime Optimus Prime. Go figure. And now I get to take a look at a mold that really has kind of been used, adjusted, obviously, uh, in recent times for the APC Toys version, but this is the original. This is the Transformers Prime First Edition Optimus Prime, and he's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got Bot True review. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe. And while you're at it, light up my baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton. And it lets you know when content of all sorts goes appear on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that's down in the description below. Also down in the description below. And if you happen to be in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through spring. There's a lot of products there. Or, of course, you can always hit the join button and become a channel member at any given time. And this is the Transformers Prime First Edition Optimus Prime. This is the version that came out in Toys R Us sometime later. Um, because my understanding is that it wasn't initially released in North America. Nevertheless, this is kind of the version I always wanted. I know that the more popular mainline version is the iteration, the Voyager iteration that was kind of reshelled to give us a, a really animation accurate version of Ultra Magnus. And that's a great Transformer. There's no doubt about it. It's excellent Transformers Prime Prime. It's excellent Transformers Prime Ultra Magnus. But I always kind of said to myself, if I was going to have a version of Transformers Prime Optimus Prime, I would really, really, really want it to be a different mold from the Ultra Magnus. Lo and behold, this, thanks to our buddy Razor Bear. And I've, uh, like, always heard that this is a glorious mold, but is it actually? Well, we're about to find out, because this guy's going to be our focus, along with some comparisons to a custom uh, Megatron I have, some comparisons to some other Autobots, but this guy's going to be our focus as we head over to the table and take a closer look at him. And yes indeed we're taking a look at the Transformers Prime first edition Optimus Prime. I think the most successful and well-known version of a Voyager Optimus Prime is the mold that was later adapted to become the second version of Ultra Magnus. It's popular and it puts really the sides of the truck on the back with a faux chest and Whatnot, but it's it's generally well known and well regarded as a good iteration of Optimus Prime. However, I am very thankful to our buddy um, Razor Bear for providing the first edition version um, because it is a different mold with a different transformation, and it's somewhat apropos because the APC Toys Optimus Prime, or I think it's called Attack Prime, is in essence. Uh, a version of this, a KO of this, really, right? Uh, if you missed out on it, man, it's a great mold. You will notice that we have a blaster and a sword back here. We'll talk about that. You'll also notice that we have the kind of brownie plastic here and here. This is obviously the reissue, second run, whatever you want to call it, that was released in the U.S. at Toys R Us around 2012-ish, if I'm not mistaken. The original from Takara uses different shades of blue and red, and all of this is also red. That will, uh, like, necessarily affect his scores later on. Um, we're going to take the sword off, and we'll look at this a bit later. Uh, I don't have the packaging, which means I don't have the diorama piece. But I'm going to say this. I'm really bummed um, that this is soft, rubbery plastic. Uh, if you know the... Legacy Blitzwing sword, where it's all just soft, rubbery plastic. That's what this is. And when this arrived, it was bent up real bad. It's still not perfect, but it's infinitely better than what it was. However, this is beautiful. I love his blaster. It's not just black. It's not just a gunmetal gray. It's speckly. And I've seen versions of this that are light gray, where uh, there's like a, a faded blue highlight uh, partway down the barrel. 
I love the look of this way more. We'll see that up closer a little bit later as well. Let's do the transformation and then we can kind of look at those accessories, look at him in robot mode and start giving him some scores. So we're going to begin by picking um, the, <laughs> the entire back of the truck down in essence because it becomes his legs and I'm even going to, I should be able to split this. Yeah, so all of that I'm just going to bring down there for now. I, I, now, I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me a little bit. So yeah, we have that all the way down. Now that we have that done, I'm going to also bring the heel back and bring that up. Uh, fold in the trailer hitch. By the way, I'll note this now, there's a trailer hitch right here, or the trailer hitch, folds in on his leg right there. Great. However, there is a fake trailer hitch. Now it still has the port in it, but there is a fake trailer hitch over on this side of the leg just to give the legs symmetry. And that's really the lower body pretty much done. Um, and I, I like it, honestly. The front up here, we can, should be able to detach that, I thought. Ah! Bring it up on the side, my mistake. We do detach it, and then we bring it up on the side. Right, and bring all that down. There we go, there we go. Um, and again, remember, I'm doing this now from memory because I, at this point, I think a lot of people know this transformation and know this guy. Um, and the APC is really the same thing, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna get all of that sort of just up here, out of the way, for now. Okay, we're going to open out these sections here and here. And you can see how everything is sort of kind of coming apart now, right? We're going to bring up that over the front of the cab. You will notice that the official front of the cab is going to be covered by a faux front of the cab. But you know what? I don't mind it and I tell you why. Because though what I'm swinging up here is faux compared to this. The fake cat, the fake front of the cab is covering up the real front of the cab. So I'm okay with that. Uh, the head comes up. Now you're told to turn the head around uh, for transformation. I, I don't, I haven't done it. Um, and he transforms just fine. So make of that whatever you will. The, um, let's see if I can remember this and figure this out. The waist comes down and these pieces come out on the side. My apologies. So yeah, we bring these around to the side. We bring these up over the back. We take the chest and we bring it all the way up. And when we bring this around, we should have a, a, like a peg here that goes into the center of this tire is how this is supposed to go. Now you've got to kind of angle the chest pieces the right way to get it to slot in. But once they're slotted in, it's okay. I might have to angle that chest piece a little bit more there to get those slotted in there. And now all we have to really deal with is the arms. We bring a shoulder down and we bring a shoulder down, we bring this out to the side and bring a hand down and yeah, that should fold all the way up and around like that. So <laughs> that looks kind of messy. I bring a arm up, I bring a hand down, I fold the arm all the way around and then I'll just adjust it. Bring those out to the side. And in essence, I have my boy here in his robot mode, with the exception of putting his, actually, you know what? I'm gonna show his blaster and his sword up close first, then put them in his hands. Man, I don't know if you can see the speckliness or not. I think you can. It's like a textured detail. It looks beautiful on his blaster. 
Ironically, the other version of the blaster that I've seen really matches this sword because it's gray with like a blue highlight. I think the APC toy sword is all translucent uh, plastic. I think I like the look of this better. I just wish it wasn't soft and rubbery. And boom, here we have Optimus Prime in his robot mode with his accessories on him. Um, I love the transformation. I mean, the top, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the Deluxe Viacon where everything folds up and becomes his legs, right? The top wind vane as well as the kind of back of the truck all folds down over his legs to become his legs and his feet. It's very simple. Then the headpiece just flips up. The hardest part is figuring out uh, the hood itself. But even with that, we have a fake chest that comes up and covers the actual uh, cab windshield. So though it's fake, it's covering the real thing. I'm okay with it. The weakest part of this mold undoubtedly is the connection of putting this peg into the um, tire. It does not like to stay there. It just sort of angles in there. Now the, the good thing is it gives you a bit of a, actually it gives you a fairly significant uh, butterfly joint. So I, I I'm kind of okay with it, even though I shouldn't be okay with it, if that makes sense. Let's talk about, however, his scores, and we're going to begin. Really, actually, you know what, before we look at his scores, let's see him compared to some other uh, Transformers Prime characters, namely, namely Team Prime, or, well, most of Team Prime. Um, I don't have the Transformers Prime Wheeljack here. <laughs> at the moment. Um, and, and like some of these are Beast Hunters iterations. This is a custom um, Beast Hunters ratchet. And Beast Hunters RC, she's seen, she's seen some better days. Uh, first edition Bulkhead, first edition Bumblebee. Uh, but the thing that I really wanted to kind of compare was this mold for Ultra Magnus to the first edition because this is a remold from the kind of mainline Voyager Optimus Prime. Now, undoubtedly, there are similarities and differences here. They do look pretty, like, pretty close, though, fairly close. So, really, the thighs, the waist, the abdomen, that's, that's comparable, right? Uh, whereas the entire foot, heel, and shin of the first edition folds up over the truck, uh, this guy really is just the shin that folds up, and the, the feet are handled differently. Um, as where the arms here fold, or uh, I guess tab loosely into the tire. Over here, it was more of a hinge. Um, the though I have all of this back here. Really, the front grill and the front sides of the truck all fold in on the back of Ultra Magnus. Uh, it's a bit different with this guy, so I'm happy to have. Rather than two of the same mold, I'm happy to have two different versions. Actually, the Transformers Prime characters here really belong to one of the scraplets, not me. Um, they're in the house, though. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's really cool that these are two different versions of what are essentially trucks that are meant to almost kind of mimic each other to a degree. And I equally like the look of the first edition Optimus next to my custom I know that this was the Sharktacon Beast Hunters Megatron at the time. It was the, you know, the only one that was around that I was able to get. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. APC toys done. Blah, blah, blah. I get it, I get it. But, like, right now, this is what we got for the comparison. And, like, even this, if this is how it stays, I'm cool with it. This looks good, even though, by rights, I feel, and I'm sure most people would agree, that the Megatron should be a bit bigger. Okay, so it's time for scores all up in this. Let's do it. So, starting from the head, the head looks fine. I mean, the, he has the faceplate, the blue and the silver is where it should be. The chest looks fine. I would like for this gray to be silver, but I'm fine. It's gray. Okay. Uh, coming down here where this brownie is, I wish that that was a silver or a gray. Uh, same with the detailing like under his rib section, we'll say. Um... Basically, everywhere where it's brownie, I wish it was more silver or gray to match his thighs. Like, I wish it was like that, say. Uh, the blue here on his hips is correct. The gray thigh is correct. The um, kind of black on the knees, that's correct. The silver down here, that's correct. The blue and the tires, all correct. Though the tires should have silver in the actual wheels. Um, the feet being black, that's correct. The bicep being... Um, 
red and the fist being black, that's correct. Uh, or sorry, the forearm being red and the bicep and the fist being black is correct. The bicep, like I said, that's some of that brownie stuff that should probably be a gray. Uh, the smokestacks over his shoulders, they're correct. The red on the shoulders and even the silver Autobot logo over here, all of that, all correct. Basically, the only thing that's not correct is um, where the brownie is and even the yellow details like there's three going down the side here and there's some down here on his tummy um, That's that's pretty much correct. So I, I can't even argue that it's it's close the Takara one Even closer. I mean if the Takara one is a, a 9.75 or a 10 then this is Eight and a half nine. I'm gonna say nine. You know, it's you know, it's Optimus Prime. There's just a, a plastic that should have been a different choice if they had made that plastic a different choice, I think that this guy would have been probably a 10. So we'll say a nine for his look. What about the transformation? I love it, love it. I've given that a 10. So we have a nine and 10, nine and a half for Optimus Prime, first edition Optimus Prime. Man, I am so thankful Razor Bear sent this our way. So nine and a half, what about the articulation? The head goes left and right, a little wiggle up and down. I've heard that the head comes off. This one's been fine. The arms and shoulders go all the way around, go all the way out to the side, by, uh, elbow to 90 degrees, bicep swivel. Um, though I have things in the hands now, there, there is wrist rotation, a butterfly because of a, a loose connection here, up here. I don't know if the APC Toys one has a tighter connection where the arm goes into the, that tire. Um, waist? Yeah, the guy has a waist, of course he does. Sure, that has the turnaround for transformation, duh. Uh, leg all the way forward, leg all the way back, thigh swivel, uh, 90 degrees at the knee. No hollowness here really either. Like, man, oh man, this was so well done. Um, ankle tilt? Yes, ankle tilt, uh, forward and back as well. <sighs> The only criticism I can levy against this, from my experience, is I wish that the shoulder pegged into the tire tighter. That's it. That's the only criticism I can levy. I'm going to say a 9.9. .9. It is really phenomenal. He was getting a 9.5. This is easily like a 9.9. .9. It is almost a perfect Optimus. The only two... Uh, kind of gripes that I could levy against it is I wish the brownie plastic was more of a gray and I wish that the shoulders uh, pegged in tighter. If the APC Toys version remedies uh, that pegging issue, well, that's another point in its favor. In terms of the look for the APC Toys one, I mean, it's closer to the Takara, so it's a little more accurate. Yeah, whether you have the first edition, any version thereof, or the APC Toys iteration, this, this version of Optimus Prime, pretty darn excellent. And here we are once again, and here he is, and like, he's great. So in terms of the look, okay, it would have been nice if the, I'm gonna call it brownie, bronzy, brownie gunmetal, it would have been nice if that was painted red, right? It's a slight thing, but just for the doors of the truck even, to be that much more animation accurate. Um, maybe some of the coloration in right here on his tummy, but like, I'm fine with that really the way that it is. I think for the most part, this is, is about as ideal of an Optimus as you could hope for in terms of animation accuracy. Maybe silver around the gray hair on his chest. Um, I think the transformation is really clever. A lot of really, really cool, interesting tricks here. I love the articulation. I think that's great. I do wish that these pieces weren't soft, rubbery plastic. I wish that the blade here wasn't soft, rubbery plastic. Uh, it's... They bend, it's a nuisance, it's unfortunate. I love this blaster and the speckling that's on it. Makes it sparkle and just be that much more metallic. About the only weakness that I could come up with for this mold is right here. This peg right here, of course, goes into the tire and it really only sort of like, how can I put this? Like, it only sort of guides in there. It's not, like it's not in there with any real friction or tight at all. It's not a big deal, but it would have been nice if it was more snug. And maybe your copy is more snug. Maybe it's just this copy. The only way that it's okay, and the only reason that I kind of give it a pass is because when you open it out, it does give you a nice butterfly across the entire body. 
compared to just using his bicep to get that far across the body. So you can actually use this hinge as a butterfly joint. Um, it's not a big deal. I still find I can move the arm forward and back. It doesn't really come out of the tire much. And same thing out to the side. It doesn't really come out much. I think it's a small price to pay for everything else that this mold does so tremendously, amazingly well. I think that that slight tolerance issue is a small price to pay for such a terrific version of Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime. Let me know what you think about the first edition Optimus Prime or the APC Toys iteration of the first edition Optimus Prime because maybe that's more your bag. I appreciate you guys coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through spring, or of course hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. Please hit the subscribe button, stick around, have some fun with us, and especially remember that somehow, someway, each and every single solitary day, you do make a difference in the world. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights, at the stop motion premieres, or the old fashioned way right here, like this, inside the videos.